take this charcoal to the man kitchen. She will give you 100 naira. Make sure you collect my complete money. Eh, hey, sister. That, that man that used to buy charcoal for his local toothpaste. He what came about him? He came when you were not around and he brought money. He brought money? Where is the money? He brought 700. Hi. Thank God. At least Amam Chuku will be able to resume school tomorrow. Ngwa, run. Run to Amam Kechi. She will give you 100 naira. Oh, okay. please be fast. Okay. One thousand three hundred. So I just have two hundred naira left to complete a school fees. Thank God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where is the charcoal I gave you money since to bring for me? Or do you want my food to soak water? I told you I was cooking before my, my, my fire went out. I I sent my son and Mamchuku to bring it to you to you. You mean you've not seen him? You sent who? My my son. Yeah. So you left your younger sister, Amuche, and sent a boy, a little boy who knows nothing, uh, to bring something for me. My son will be six years old. He's no longer a little boy. Oh, Odima. Oh Please give me my charcoal. Let me start going. Did you see Amam Chuku? He's not yet back. Oh God, it seems I have forgotten the direction to that human house. I can't even find a big tree. Maybe this is not the right way. Let me go back home. I'm tired, John. Me to come back now. It was not to go and buy food and come back. Uh, Ajego says she already had her food on the fire when she noticed that, that she had run out of charcoal. She said I should make sure I bring the charcoal. I immediately I dropped the call. I asked him, oh, I asked him. He, he said, he said he knew the house. house. I, I couldn't leave the shop because. Hi, I'm on Chuku. Where have you been? I told you the auntie again. You mean you did not see a house again? Yes, mommy, I'm tired. Chukubo, you told me you knew where the auntie stays. 
Mm, I'm dead and hungry now. Um, just, just take care of us. Let me get you something to eat. Come out here to cry every night. Must you? Come, let's go inside. Let's go to bed. It's past 12 already. How do I pretend everything is fine? When I know all is not well. But coming out here every night to cry will not change anything either. I know all is not well. But you have to come to the terms of what has happened and move on with your life. I hate to see you in this condition. It breaks my heart. Mother was still alive. This wouldn't have been this worse. I would have probably left an Amchuku with her in the village. I'd go to the city to do something better with my life. Look at me. <laughs> no matter how hard you wish, you cannot turn back the hands of time. Mama is gone. Anamam Choku is here. You have to embrace what has happened and move on with your life. <laughs> you are a very strong woman. <laughs> very hard working one at that. <laughs> your future is still very bright. Very, very bright. <laughs> you can still marry the man of your dream. come out here to cry any other time. I promise I'll be strong for you and Amam Chuku. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Auntie, my sister sent me to you. We, we ran out of charcoal and we have a, a customer that is in urgent need of supply. Once our supplier gets to us, and eventually we'll split the, the profit together. <laughs> Just look at yourself. So, you actually came down here to tell me all this rubbish that you just vomited. I don't blame you. Is that your stupid and foolish sister that I blame? Please get out of my shop. 
And it has not gotten to all this now. What did I say wrong? I, I, I was only trying to. I can see that you just came here to just to disturb me. Don't want me to have peace in my shop. Eh? Look at you, useless girl. That's how you people just go about bearing children in your father's house. Please get out of my shop, or you want me to push you? What have I done wrong? I beg, go, go, go! I shower. I've told the people not to come to my shop again. Haven't I? Useless girl. Nonsense. I'm not. I mean, I'm giving a belly. Eh? I'm mean, giving a belly when they bore useless children, they throw away about stupid things. Just, just look at what I was doing. Oh God, what is happening? Why is everybody trying so hard to put shame on our faces? Why is Ubu has just poet today? How will I tell my sister of what happened? No. no. I will not tell her. I will not tell her. She only contributes in breaking her down. No. I was told you came to see me. Yes, I did. I only came to check on you to know how you're faring and also the prince. Doing well. And the prince too. Has he called you yet? No, ma. He has not. Since that last time you told me about it, I've been expecting his calls. I've not, not heard from him. He hasn't called you until now? No, ma. Don't worry, he will call you. Okay, ma. Have I told you your husband is coming back next week? Next week? Ah, no, you haven't told me, ma. Okay, let me tell you now. He is coming back next week. That would, that would be nice. I'll be happy. I'll be happy to see him. I don't know how long my meeting with the Igwe will take, alright? But make sure my food is ready before I return. Not even one second more when I ask for it, okay? Ah, uh, uh, Daddy, mm. have I ever delayed in giving you your food? Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. You see? She's here, your friend has come again. Your friend has landed. Hmm? The more reason why I will remain hungry when I return. Ah, Papa. Uh -huh. You didn't allow me to greet you. Good day, sir. <laughs> I've seen you. Eh? See, make sure you allow her to prepare my lunch, okay? Because mm. I know now you'll be cho 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 gossip ass. Papa, eh? was it because of that day? Don't worry, she'll make your food before you come back. Mm -hmm. You better let that happen. <laughs> Go and gossip. Don't talk to me. From the evening. Yes. Bye bye, sir. There's a fine word of 
stopped me on the road today and said, You're beautiful. Like, I was so shy. I don't even know what to do. Mm-hmm. I was like, huh. like, you're not happy. Leave that one. Guess what? What? Guess now. I don't know if I'm not good at guessing. Tell me now. You just try. Mm. The prince is back. No, he will be back next week. He called you? No! I went to the palace and the queen told me that. Ah. What? <laughs> Annabel, what is happening? Mm. Why are you acting like a child? You have a phone, don't you? A queen with a phone. You have a phone all this while and it's been the queen calling you to tell you everything about this marriage. Who does that? Why can't the prince call you? Why can't he call you for once from America? Like, at least you need a Danya. I don't get it. It doesn't sound well to me. The queen keeps telling me that he will call me. I sent her my number a million times. Okay, now. She keeps assuring me that he will call me. Well, I don't know why he's finding it difficult to call me. Assurance. Oh, you're the Yagi. Things have changed. If I'm born with Chago, Gone are the days when parents arrange marriages for their kids. Who does that? You just have to be very sure that this guy loves you. Yes. Let it not be that he's the queen forcing him to marry you. You just have to be careful. Nay, nee, you're right. But I can't help it. Ha! Annabel, you have to. What happened more? He has to call you now. For not per se, forget now. He has to call you. <laughs> Why you guys play without me? It's unfair. Is it why she's born from us? We even ask you to come and join us. I don't make friends with bastard. But am I a bastard? They're who is your daddy. You see, you don't even know who your daddy is. That means you're a bastard. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? My friends said I should not play with them. Your friends? Who are those your friends and why would they stop you from playing with them? My friends in the neighborhood. They say they don't know who my father is.
Amuche, what kept you? Nothing. What do you mean nothing? You spent all day out there and you're here telling me nothing. Sister, calm down now. I'm trying now. Seriously, I'm trying. It's okay. I'm trying. I did not say you're not trying. Go inside. I kept something for you inside. She's fine. But Omalicha, after everything I told you about that girl, you couldn't even keep in touch. You couldn't call her not once. Well, I'm so sorry. A whole lot of things. I even lost her number. I sent it to you three times. You want to tell me you lost it all that three times? Uh, you see, I... I Mom, can we just leave this? Bottom line, I'm here now, okay? It's okay. That girl is the best thing that would happen to this royal family. I trust your judgment. Thank you. Um, your Majesty, Annabelle is outside waiting for you. Tell her I'll be with her shortly. Okay, Your Majesty. Malicha, she's here. So let's go see her. Right, after you, mother. She's angling my friend. Oh. She came with me to welcome the friends. Yes, ma. Oh. That's Anna, mm -hmm. the bride. Oh, oh. forgive me. <laughs> Looking at both of them, I was kind of confused. <laughs> really? oh. Nice to meet you. Thank you. You. You look good. <laughs> Thank you, my prince. Uh, if everything my mom said about you is true, then you're good to go. Thank you so much, my prince. Angoli. Yes, ma'am. You have to leave us now. Annabelle needs to spend some time with her husband-to-be. 
Okay, ma. Thank you, my prince. Thank you, ma. <laughs> Annabelle, you go to the guest room and wait for him. He will be with you soon. Thank you, ma. <laughs> What was that for? What was what for? A girl I've sent you her picture over and over again. You couldn't differentiate between her and her friend. Oh, mother, mother, forgive me. You know, pictures, pictures get me quite confusing sometimes. And women these days, they do a whole lot of makeup. In fact, what they do right now is plastering, not makeup. Let me go see. You. But, I like her. Do you have a choice? background, um, family background, uh, homely qualities, and your beauty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, with all that put together, means we are getting married soon. Thank you, my prince. I, I love you. you know, I've always loved you. I've loved you right from the moment the queen told me about this. Thank you for accepting me. Okay, right from the moment the queen told you, you started loving me. I'll be married. Oh, well, excuse me, my prince. I thought we were supposed to be together, get to know ourselves very well. And then? Get to know ourselves. They are angry. I hope you are not talking out of jealousy. What is even your problem? Hmm? I don't have a problem. And I'm not speaking out of jealousy either. It is very clear. This marriage is the queen's handwork on him. Don't you have eyes? Eh? How can the priest not recognize the lady he wants to get married to? Even when the queen was trying to make it appear like she'd been sending in your pictures to him several, he was still confused. He was. Get on a call, Daika. How can someone possibly marry a total stranger? A girl you can't identify in the midst of the crowd. Does it make sense? Yes, it does. The prince told me that he loves me and that we'll be getting married soon. That is all that matters to me now, not this nonsense you're talking about. Uh, no problem, Mr. Badera. Um, I wish you good luck. Thank you. I wish you Buhari. Get your good friends, the beautiful ones. They shall be your traditional mates of honor. While I arrange the, with the woman leader of this community, they all shall be on uniform on that day. I'm already compiling the list of my brother then. Good. The prince gave me enough money to buy things, but I'm very much confused on the material to buy. You don't need to. Once it is a quality traditional wax, any color can serve. Okay, your man is done. Most importantly, I want traditional entertainers. Dances, good dancers, that will entertain the people on that day. I want it to be a grand occasion. My father is working on that too. I trust him again. He's an efficient and reliable fellow. I wish you'd be like him. <laughs> Thanks for the compliments, Ma. You're welcome.
promise to tell you when you get to 10 years. I'll tell you. Thank you. You're welcome. So where are we? It's my son to play. A child is a blessing from God. Every child deserves to know the origin of his birth. And now this boy wants to know about his father. How on earth do I tell him? Help me, dear God. It is going to be great on that day. You mean Annabelle and the Prince? Mm hmm. By the I wish them luck. Uh, you wish them luck, I know. But as she sent your material for that, will be. You remember my sister, because I'm not part of a bridal train. Eh? It is true. I am not among her brother tree. What happened? You of all people. My sister, I saw some things that were not normal in her relationship with the prince. And as a friend, I tried pointing them out for her. The next thing she take it to be jealousy. Hmm? That me, Anguli, is envious and jealous of her. I don't know where she got that from. Eh? No, no. How can anybody think that you're envious? You are a very lovable and transparent fellow on this earth. Ijama, maybe you are the only one seeing me in that light. Perhaps I'm a very bad soul. I don't know. No. No, Anuli. No a thousand times. This must be a misconception on the part of our friend Annabelle. Anuli that I know will be very happy for her friend's success and the happiness of her friend. Perhaps I was too forward. Maybe I should have just ignored those abnormalities and move on. After all, it's not my life. But I believe a best friend is the one who will say, I told you. Not the one that will say, I would have told you. It's okay. Let me continue. Your hair. Please don't feel bad, okay? Let me complete the hair. Don't feel bad. you're doing with my goods. Is this a toy? I'm on If you continue like this, I'll be locking you up at, at home every Saturday. What's Sorry. this? Continue like this, I'll leave you at home every Saturday. Sister! I want to start going. Well, it's getting late. I cannot go to the house to start changing. Where are you going? Hmm? What is hmm? Where are you going? Oh, the palace. For the royal wedding, I presume. So you are aware of the, um, the traditional wedding between the prince and Annabelle? What am I? Dumb. I didn't even though you know that the prince is back in the country. So you think I am that naive and out of information, Abby? The very first day he arrived, I heard about it. I saw him the other day when he was coming back on a convoy. Um, whatever it is, just take him out. Oh. Oh, see, oh, if you complain one more time, you won't leave the shop. I just want to go and watch. I just want to go and watch the dancers perform there. They said uh, the, those dancers are going to be performing there today. What you and your dancers? Hmm? When you are done. 
take my son with you. Hey, you follow us to drop my chapel. Just clean up, clean him up. Dancers. Stole from the dancers. Is it your money? Eh? Yeah? Where are you going to work? Why would you take an innocent boy like that? Mommy, I'm sorry. Yeah? Oh, will you shut up? Shut up! Sorry, man. So, so, so sorry. I. I'm watching. Jesus Christ, why? Why are you so dirty? Why? Whose son is this? Is this your son? No, my friend. My, my sister and I are selling charcoal to survive after you left her with pregnancy. Excuse me? Left who? Ah. Amuche! Amuche!
are gathered here today for the traditional marriage ceremony of our prince, the next king of this great kingdom, and our daughter, my daughter, Annabelle. Now, my kinsman and I will want you, our daughter, to show us the man who has decided to take you away from us for the rest of your life. Let everyone here today present witness the solemn declaration of man and woman union made today by this sign of God bearing.
What is it? Organi? Mom, you must tell me why you lied to me and played games on me. What games? Where is Ndidi? Where is Ndidi? Excuse me. Excuse me. Did you just ask me that? Huh? Oh. She... She... She, she what? Huh? She did what? You, you want to lie to me again? You tell me. You want to lie to me again? You told me that Ndidi got married and then she left the country, right? That is the truth. That's not the truth. It's a bloody lie. So I want to know why would you lie to me? No, why? Why would you lie to your own son? Why? Tell me, mother. Why? Why am I even asking you? I know where to start from. First, Auntie Philo is going to tell me what happened to the letter I gave to her. And then she will tell me the bloody fool who wrote the stupid letter and she got back to me. You're getting married today. The guests are waiting. Let's allow sleeping dogs to lie. Then we can address the matter afterwards. Please, my son. That marriage is over. What? I will not get married to that girl. Tell okay. the guests to go home. Omalita's problem. I don't you do. Yes, you do. When you were busy manipulating and plotting your evil deeds, I warned you about the outcome. Now it has all boomeranged. My king, why would my son marry from that family? Why? I ask you why. Get out of my sight now. I said, get out! Look at the shame you brought upon me. Evil woman. He will kick you. I don't blame them. We're second class citizens. We're not in the same world. How much I blame you for going there in the first place. She said, I didn't go there for the ceremony. I went there to see the dancers, worry. No. Sorry, oh. But why were you picking their money? I wanted to use the money to buy Akara. Akara? Yes, the money was meant for the dancer. So I also picked it. So I'm the dancer, I also picked it for myself. Next time, you don't pick people's money that is not yours, okay? Did you hear me? Hey! 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 The disgrace was the height of it. And I said it. Hey! On Amiakure. I said it. All this would have been averted. That boy has no regard whatsoever for our friend. And don't care now what can you see? Marriage should be built on love, intimacy, strong feelings. It is called union. Now see, look at it. Oh, one year and a big time now. I said it, but she wouldn't listen to me. She saw it to be envy, jealousy, and all that. Try! I'm sure everything will be clearer to her by now. Eh? That way is not even my business, so my business, eh? Is this as we be with all this? Man? Check me out, Nene. Check me out, bro. Check um, me. Check me out. Even your fine shoe. shoe. Your fine shoe. You know, I never had money. I had to go and spend all the one I have in my savings just to that saving box. Now I broke it just to get Chai, that money. I cannot to go and buy this shoe. That boy is a beast. He's heartless. Let me don't let me don't say I hate that boy. You would have waited for Annabelle, everything Annabelle, to be over. Annabelle, fuck off. He would have waited for the ceremony to be over before he disgraced the entire village.
Papa. What wrong have I done? What was my offense that made the prince so humiliate me like this? <laughs> my daughter, you have not done anything wrong. Just leave everything to me. I know what to do. It's either the prince marries you or no one else. Trust me. Ma'am. <laughs> what was his reasons for refusing drink from me? <laughs> Look, whatever his reason, it is completely unacceptable. Unacceptable. Ma See, the prince has no reason not to marry you. Now, I is a game, Ebo. Atakata Abo. I will show him what happens to the ears of the rat when it forces I fire. Trust me. <laughs> My friends will start laughing at me. No. I only will be making mockery of me now. No, no one will ever laugh at you. Hmm? <laughs> Listen to your father. It is not yet over. My daughter, let them laugh. Let them laugh. Their laughter will not last long. He who laughs last, laughs best. Just trust me. You will see what I will do. <laughs> I can't quite understand what happened in this palace today. Prince Omerita, can you please explain to us what made you act that way? Father. I am highly disappointed in Mother here. Believe me. I am so disappointed in her. Before I left this country five years ago to study abroad, I had built a wonderful relationship with this, this beautiful girl. Her name is Ndidiamaka from o Okoye family in, in Omoazi Kingdom. I wanted to marry the girl. I introduced her to Mother. Mother did not like the girl for reasons best known to her. All right? I don't know why. Then when I traveled, mother made me believe that the girl had gotten married to someone else and then she left the, this country. Mother kept on pushing me to marry that girl, Annabelle. Only for me to realize today that Ndidiamaka did not get married to any other man. She is still in this village and to crown it all, father. She had a son for me. How are you sure you're the father of that bastard boy? Why did you lie to me? Queen of this kingdom, why did you lie to me in the first place? Like I told you before, this marriage with Annabelle is over. I'm going after Ndidi, my love. Over my dead body, will you bring that girl into this palace? Over your dead body? Yes! It's fine. Okay, no problem now. That means you'll soon die. What? You heard me. What? Did you hear what you just said? No blood of mine remains outside. If that boy is his son for real, then he'll be coming home to this palace. That boy can never be his son. The girl was sleeping around. I am sure of that. But sister, you said you not do this again. I am not crying because of my condition. I am crying because of the ill treatment given to Amam Chuko in his own father's house. If the prince hadn't slept with me that night, Amam Chuko wouldn't have been born. Now they are kicking him like football in the same place that gave birth to him. But the prince did not support him now. He did not support the guard. He scolded him. Why did he leave? Why did he leave after all the promises he made to me? After everything he put me through, why did he leave? Oh, Never be denied. Oh no, destiny can be subjected to all manners of trials. Yeah, 
But at a need of time Destiny will triumph Will triumph It is destiny Destiny yeah. It's all about destiny you have come to check if I am dead. Well, I am still alive. I am surviving. I am fine. So it's true. This, this is what you do for a living? Yes. This is what I do. And I am proud of it. When you left and traveled out, what did you expect me to do? Get out of my shop. Diddy, please, I did not leave you. Look, my. Then my... who sent that letter to me? Who sent those words to me telling me to move on with my life that you have done same? Jesus Christ. Same way a letter was sent to me, supposedly written by you, stating the same thing. That you got married and you, you left the country. I should move on with my life. Me. I mean, I was so surprised when I saw your sister, and she told me I could, I could find you here, and that you were pregnant when I left. Believe me. Wait, you mean you didn't send that letter? To me? I swear I did not send any letter to you. Then who did? No. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Let me pick up the pieces of my life. Please. Did you don't do this. You have to believe me. I did not write those words. You didn't write those words. Who? Oh. You're back here because you know you now have a son. You want your son back after sending those words to me. Those words that ripped my heart. Same words that took my mother's life. How could you? It, it's not true. I did not write those words. I was given a wrong impression about you. I, until yesterday when I met your sister. You have to believe me. She's my destiny. I'm her destiny. We are destined to be together. What happened to the letter I gave to you to give to Dilemaka when you were returning for Easter break? And who wrote the letter you came back and gave to me? See, Auntie, do not lie to me. Please, don't deny this. Don't lie to me. If you look at me very well, you see that I am not coordinated. You make me do something that you will regret. Don't lie to me. I don't know what you're talking about. In fact, I don't understand. What do you mean? Tell me. My love, my coming over to the States is for our own good. At the end of my five years stay here, I am coming back for us to be officially married as man and wife. My father, the king, has given his word that once I am back from the States, I will be getting married. I know you miss me a lot. I miss you so much too, my love. I gave my aunt an Android phone for you. Get a SIM and call me with the number below so we can always communicate. Okay? I love you so much, Diddy. And I just cannot wait to be in your arms again. Oh. Mm. 
I thought you said you have a letter for someone in Nigeria. Eh, uh, yes. I'm done. Just hold on. And this phone is also for her. For her eyes as well. So where do I locate this Ndidi, my love? <laughs> Just give it to any of the maids or guards in the palace. They know her and they know where to find her. Okay then. <laughs> I'll be going now. Alright, I'll miss you. I'll miss you too, my boy. But you know I'll be back in two weeks time. You said so. It's okay. Right, Just take care place. of yourself. Okay. Be... You have a safe flight. Thanks. Okay. Sure everything is alright. Everything is fine. It's alright. It's fine. It's okay. Uh let me speak to her. I'll show you where you can wait for me. Okay? So let me talk. It's okay. It's okay. I'm her destiny. 